Hi, this is Chris. Today we're going to go over the basic parts of a timber truss. This is not necessarily so you can build a timber truss yourself. In fact, it's not at all for that. It's really just so that if you're talking to an engineer or architect or a builder, you will have a simple understanding of the components of a timber truss. Now, to get started, we'll start out with a simple drawing of a timber truss. Um, just the basic lines. I am not going to be drawing a perfect one, by the way. But there's the outside part. So, here at the top, you have the peak. This it's called the top cord. It's this top, the topmost piece here and here. The bottom piece, keep in mind there are many different shapes of trusses. This is just the most simple one. Let's go ahead and put an overhang there. It's an important part. Um, this bottom piece is called the bottom cord. So, so far we have the peak, the top cord, and the bottom cord. Now, in here you typically have some structural components, and these can go in many, many different designs and variations, but this is called your web. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of different types of timber trusses in lodges or cabins or whatever, but but uh, these can be in many, many configurations. You know, you might even have some that come back down like this, they'd be straight or whatever, but that's the web. So, top cord, peak, bottom cord, web. Now here's a really big deal. This is a common point of just confusion for some people. This total distance from here to here, from the outside to the outside, is the overall span. Some people get it confused and they do not include this from here to here, this link, which is the overhang. Uh, what do we have left here? I guess one thing that's really good to explain is the pitch, and that is simply the angle of the top. Um, it's usually, let's go down here, pitch is usually explained in terms like 312 or 412, something like that. And what that means is that for every 12 inches distance you go, you raise three inches in height, or for every 12 inches of distance you go, you raise four inches in height. So, for every 12 inches you go this way, you increase this way three inches. And there are your basic parts in terms of building a timber truss. I hope this helps you when you're working on something. And don't forget to come back to woodscience.blogspot.com for more things like this. Have a good one.